Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man, Primetime, and you already know, you're on Primetime Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video, and you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. Oh man, let's get on into this thing. Tyson Fury says he'd be sued $80 million if he doesn't fight Deontay Wilder. Tyson Fury just revealed this week that he would have to pay $80 million. $80 million in a lawsuit if he didn't fight Deontay Wilder for the contractual rematch. Like I said, Fury would be risking deep debt if he walked away from the rematch with Wilder and wound up being sued for 80 million dollars so you think like he got a lot of money just to throw around you want to giving Wilder his rematch wasn't something Fury 30 0 and 1 draw with 21 KOC interested in doing he was actually forced because of the potential of losing 80 million dollars if he walked away Fury said it wouldn't have mattered if he had vacated his WBC heavyweight title he would still be under contract with Wilder 42-1 and 141 KOs and he would be sued if he chose to move on it's a shame that Wilder had to take the fight to arbitration just to get his contractual rematch as he gave Fury a voluntary title shot for the last fight when he was still the WBC champion. When a champion makes a voluntary defense, they always include a rematch clause in the case they lose. Typically, it's not a problem for the champion to get a rematch if they lose. But in this case, Wilder had the, a crazy time trying to get Fury to give him his contractual fight. It seemed to many boxing fans that Fury had no genuine desire to give Wilder his rematch. Hence, he took it to arbitration and arbitration judge. And as you would have expected, they ordered Fury to provide Wilder with his contractual bound trilogy fight. A lot of people don't know this, but I'm optimistic at the fight. You know, I'm I'm not even optimistic, you know, that the fight gonna actually happen. You know. You know, because he he he, he right now trying to find out a way to get out of this thing. You can believe that for real, for real. You know, <laughs> he gonna make up some uh, car accident, uh, broken leg. He gonna be fighting Conor McGregor, and Conor McGregor gonna kick his leg and break it. Um, he go, I don't know. He go, uh, he gonna come up with something though, for real, for real, because it's just been too quiet, too crazy, too quiet, and I really don't see this guy getting in the ring with Deontay Wilder as a sharpie he is. Now, if he do, big cojones, props, salutes to you, Tyson Fury, if you get in the ring, man. But I honestly don't. I, I, I'm just, I ain't gonna believe it until I see it because, you know what I mean? Like, man, this dude here is just the epitome of, I'm trying to figure out a way out. <laughs> so anyway, with that being said, I'm glad that other people around the world are chiming in and are acknowledging that Deontay Wilder has been the pursuer and Tyson Fury has been the one that's in the running. <laughs> He's running away from this fight at all costs because he know the first time he got up off the mat, it was by the luck of God. <laughs> and a referee taking about 20 seconds to do a 10 second count. But that's nor here nor there. Then the second fight, this dude went in the ring with loaded gloves, had Deontay Wilder, former trainer, put some of his own water. I guess they paid him good. You know, crazy, crazy stuff. You know, so now the third fight, I truly believe 
Everybody gonna be looking. All eyes gonna be on his gloves. All eyes gonna be on Deontay Water, his suit, whatever. All the eyes will be in attendance on this fight to make sure that it goes the way it's supposed to go. So with that being said, this is video. Definitely hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos here on Primetime Talk TV and I'm on social media everywhere. So follow me there too. All right, y'all. Peace.